Okay, hello everybody. Today I want to show you why this CD is giving me some interesting problem. In fact, uh, when I play this CD, uh, the first, uh, let's say, five, six tracks go well. But when I skip uh, to higher tracks, the music get bad and uh, eventually the CD player go into uh, error condition. To check this situation, I have connected uh, to pin 4 of the SAA7220 um, my oscilloscope and pin 4 is the error signal, the one mentioned in, in a post. So, uh, let's see what happened. Reading the talk, it takes quite a long time. Okay, and now play track number one. Oh, uh, got an error condition. Try it again. Okay, it has started. And now look at the arrows. There are almost no errors playing track number one. Now I want to show you what happens to the error signal when I skip from track to track. To do that I put my camera close to the oscilloscope. And now I skip uh, to track number two. As have you seen some error while lining up to the new track as a chord have a chord sorry okay this is track number three but when playing we don't see any error now I continue skipping track up to track number uh, nine. Okay, we start to see some error here. Going further to track number number 10, now number 11 and number 13, uh, 12, sorry. Okay. very interesting please note that uh, uh, what we are looking at here is not a spectrum analysis of the music it's just um, uh, an error signal so the shape of the signal is made by the arrows that the front end the chip generates while uh, decoding the samples coming out of the CD and another interesting thing to note is uh, that the music is good, at least using my ear as, as a detector. I, I cannot hear any any difference, even if it is clear that uh, the sounds coming out of the CD under these conditions uh, is not a good sound. It is made by a lot of uh, interpolations. Going to track number 13, things get worse. Why this CD is behaving like this, I don't know. Other CDs don't show any, F, any error at any track. This is what I call the error decks. Okay, now just because I want to connect a, a, a LED to the error signal to have an indication of these situations while playing CDs, I want to be sure that the LED does not load the, the line and does not change the shape of the arrows. So I want to measure 
the rise time of the first um, the first error so that I can assure later that connecting um, the LED the, the shape remains the same so I increase the sweep time in my scope going to the maximum I switch from average to sample mode okay and you can see increase a little bit yeah okay you can see that the rise time is very very fast we are at 50 nanoseconds per division so the sweep time is very very fast now what I have done is a simple circuit I can try to show it over here wait a moment it is this one it is a simple mm, op amp in buffer configuration this is the input of the op amps when I connect this input to the pin 4 a LED that I have installed here will light up now I will make the connection and I will show you what we can see in the lab okay here we are um, at the start condition because of the logic of the circuit uh, um, the LED is uh, turned on and as you can see in the scope the, the signal is I uh, when inactive inserting the CD reading the talk we can see the flashing LED indicating the errors while reading the talk failure oh this is a failure in reading the talk try it again okay and this is play track number one I go very fast to track number 12 or 13 look at this disaster this is really disaster when I see this situation on this sled I can take my CD and junk it okay thank you for watching